So here I'll take the cylinder head off. Now if you'll notice, not all the bolts are the same length, but not just that. I, uh, this bolt here holds this port level into the block, and then the other six go through. It's a suction there. There's the, the junk head, the two rings in it, spark plug right in the center. And then uh, the port level here is free to slide off of the sleeve. So the one uh, bolt here holds it to the block and the rest of them, these two, these two screw, screw into, uh, sorry, just one of them. So basically I don't use the two corner bolt holes. And you can see the sleeve there. Lots of nice wear marks on it, etc. This one's the compound port. It serves as intake and exhaust. There's an exhaust port. There's an inlet port. If you notice they're mirror images of one another. There's another inlet port. I seem to be dragging something here, so I'll take that off. Anyway, so now the sleeve's free to move up and down here. Just tap them. This drive is all freed up. So he just moves around nice and freely. Let's see there. Move, slide up and down. And the other thing I just noticed is that the piston sticks, sticks up past the top of the block. The way I accomplished that was by putting in a uh, four horse connecting rod out of a model 110, whatever, three more digits. 11 cubic inch engine, anyways. Rod's like 0.2 inch longer. That uh, served a purpose for me, allowing me to increase the compression ratio in it by remachining the head, etc. We went through a lot of different uh, uh, stages in the development of this engine at uh, university, running it on the dyno, etc. So, anyways, I'll make another video once I get the sleeve up.